I think many of you know this quote or have seen this quote. If you spend much time with Civil War history, you probably see this quote, right? U.S. Grant talking to George Meade in the Army of the Potomac. Lee's army will be your objective point. Wherever Lee goes, there you will go also. And while it's a familiar quote, many people might not know the date of that quote. And that is April 9th, 1864. And what I think is so, so important about that date is that we are exactly one year, 365 days to April 9th, 1865, when Robert E. Lee surrenders to Ulysses S. Grant at the William McLean House in Appomattox. And so everything that happens, the wilderness, Spotsylvania Courthouse, North Anna River, Totopotomy Creek, Cold Harbor, the March to Petersburg, Confederate invasion of Maryland, Battle of Monocacy, the Battle of Fort Stevens, operations in the Shenandoah Valley, operations finally to break through at Petersburg. All of that happens in the next 365 days. It is a massively important epoch in American history. Nothing in history is inevitable. It takes a lot of hard fighting, a lot of suffering for this to happen until we finally, finally reach the end of the Civil War. Um, and as we go forward in time, as we think about what, you know, what does the United States mean and what, what have we gone through this period, this one year period, 365 days, I think tells us a lot about where we've been and what we've gone through. What are a few battlefield locations you recommend visiting at Wilderness or Spotsylvania Courthouse? Sure. Um, both battlefields are maintained by the Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania National Military Park. So the park does have um, established driving tours on both of those locations. You can get more information on the park website or going to one of our park visitor centers at Fredericksburg or Chancellorsville. We have maps available. But let's say you're on a time crunch. You're like, well, I don't have time for everything, right? Um, I would say at a minimum um, for, for the Battle of the Wilderness, Saunders Field, which is where a lot of the heavy infantry fighting gets started, Tap Field, which again, heavy fighting on, on May 6th, and then the Brock Road, Plank Road intersection, which was this vital intersection of roads that was heavily fought over during the battle. Um, at Spotsylvania Courthouse, same deal. We have a driving tour there, but let's say you're running out of time. At a minimum, at a bare minimum, um, I would suggest a site known as the Bloody Angle, uh, which is infamous for the hand-to-hand -hand fighting that took place there on May 12th, 1864. Um, as far as the parks battlefields, I think Spotsylvania is perhaps the best preserved. Um, it has the best kind of view of what things would have looked like in 1864. Uh, and so um, definitely those sites would be would be my recommendations.